Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait. Joining us is Amanda Ward. We're going to look at Phantom, the official trailer. I don't have any information on this at all because Achara downloaded this for me and I don't have a description in front of me. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is like the 9 11. Okay, we don't have subtitles. Oh, that guy's a big star in India. David Coleman Headley, Sajid Meer, Sabahuddin Umbi, most wanted terrorist list by Stanang. This man has only seen one agent in Nawaz Mistry. Who is the biggest terrorist in Pakistan, and he doesn't get any of us. She's a big star as well. He kind of looks like Bradley Cooper to me. <laughs> well, he's as big as Bradley Cooper. Oh, yeah. He's handsome. <laughs> Do you know who this man is? I don't know him. Would you use your murder make you involved here? That was a stupid mistake. The mission is over. America and Osama go under. The director of this, uh, the, like the filmmakers behind this, do, have done a lot of like crazy action films. Okay. Oh, it looks intense. <laughs> like one of them, one of the action films mentioned was Kick. Which is totally not like this at all. Okay. So this is. No. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so an alternate reality story. Uh, kind of well, like inglorious, kind of feel? Based on what the last thing there said, a story you wish was true. If we're to take that seriously and it's not being ironic, then oh, I would make it more akin to something like Django Unchained. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, like, like real events that happened, people we wish were real. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? You're right. Actually, if Glorious Bastards is a good example of that, where they get Hitler at the end. Yeah. Spoiler alert! Sorry. That is the thing that you want. Like you want them to get the Nazis at the end and, and get Hitler at the end, and it's kind of this cathartic feeling when you see that happen. You're like, yeah, yes! I wish. Um, I guess this is the a similar feeling of kind of this hyperbolic fiction. It's sort of patriotic because, you know, it's these guys who are trying to set things straight. It almost reminds me of Munich, but a fictionalized version of it where you've got these people who are, I don't even, like, it's hard to see exactly, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on because we didn't have subtitles, but I got the gist of it. I mean, yeah. you have the, like these few guys who are trying to get the bad guys. Yeah. That, that were basically responsible for this horrific, like it was a horrific event. It was nasty. There's a whole movie on it that I'm very, very reluctant to watch because it's just What's even it called? it's it's called the attacks of 2611. It's just it's it just just the commercial of it alone was just like so upsetting. I'm like yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to watch this you. movie. That's heavy. It's so hard because you see all these you know like you're this this is like what happens in action films where you see all these buildings blowing up, but like there's part of me that's like there's so many people in the buildings that are dying right now. Like yeah. I get so upset about yeah. these people that aren't even actually on screen. Like, right. And it's real. I mean, that's really what happened. The closest thing I can think of that we can compare this to for us as Americans is something like American Sniper, mm -hmm. which was very fictionalized. It's very controversial, American Sniper, for, for yeah. reasons that are totally valid as a controversial film. But mm -hmm. if you're like, a hardcore, you America kind of attitude, and you watch American Sniper, you feel good watching, you know, Bradley Cooper go in there and 
shoot someone from a mile away, which didn't happen. There's a lot of fiction in American Sniper, but if you have that kind of perspective on the war and everything like that, and, and you, 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 you sympathize with his uh, mission mm -hmm. going in, it makes you feel good in a way. Like, it's like this patriotic feeling yeah. to it all, you know? So this has that similar feeling. In a way, except who they're going after was in this film is uh, they're obviously more directly responsible for what happened on the attack yeah. 26 11 because it's hard to compare the two because American Sniper is dealing with a lot of political crap that we, we, yeah. we should not have been involved in so that's mm -hmm. a little bit it's like a, not the best comparison I'm just trying to think of like what we have that is remotely similar and, and, and like your the first example you introduced was the best one which is Inglorious Bastards yeah like um, the idea of like us getting him after everything he did like yeah. that would have been very rewarding What's interesting to me is the team behind it, because the names of the films mentioned were totally not like this film in my recollection. They're more kind of lighthearted in, in, in tone. They're action films that are not meant to be taken quite as seriously, whereas like this hits you right off the bat with this tragedy that happened, much in the same way that Although this is a true story, Zero Dark Thirty kind of hits you. Oh, like yeah. the opening of Zero Dark Thirty is, you don't even see it. You just hear, like even th even like recalling it kind of upsets me to be uh, honest. Oh yeah, with you. I but, know, like, me too. <laughs> like, but you uh. just you just hear the attacks of 9/11 happen, yeah. and it's just like it's super upsetting. And that movie is like really upsetting. But at the end, you you come away feeling a little bit better because you got the bad guy. And so right yeah, off the bat, so good. Yeah, but right off the bat, like you're starting out with the 60 hours of this terrorism that happened in India, and you're just like, Jesus Christ. And so that's your starting place, man, mm -hmm. is they hook you with that. And so then it goes into an action film from there, and it's like the thing that you, I guess, wish would have happened. I can totally buy into like why this movie exists. I get it. You want some kind of reparations made for the tragedy that happened. Yeah. And only through this, I guess, fiction, like at least you get some semblance of that assuming that this movie was all right or, or or was like a good film it feels somewhat cathartic yeah to, you want the world to be fair yeah but it's not you want things to be balanced out you, you want things to be undone you don't want the bad guys to win yeah uh, yes yeah. exactly at the end of the day that's basically what it comes down to is you don't want the bad guys to win and so you got Saif Ali Khan leading this film and yeah. I'm not used to seeing him this way so. oh really he yeah. fit into it so well like I thought that must be what his career is like most of the film trailers I've seen with Saif Ali Khan I haven't actually watched him in a movie yet but most of the trailers I've seen with him are often funny. Oh, or, or, interesting. Yeah, they're like, but I, I guess just looking at the first four movies that pop up here, he obviously has done a lot of serious movies. Rangoon is another trailer I've seen of his. That was a, that's a serious war film. I mean, Rang he looks like such yeah. a strong male lead. Like, you're like, okay, I'll follow this guy. I feel like he can survive all this. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Somehow, just by mir by like a miracle of just coincidence, like I've, most of the trailers I've seen with him have been funny movies. Oh, I mean, these all look funny. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, we're looking over his uh, list on, of films on Google. Like, look, Agent Vinod oh. is, is clearly like, yeah. you know, all these films look like just fun. Most of what I've seen from him is kind of like this. That aside, it's interesting to see him in, in you know, such a serious role and, and how he's playing that. He's got a, an interesting screen presence about him. Yeah, I like him as a lead. I can totally like empathize with this being one of those patriotic films like we get the bad guy and you know I get it we all want that at the end of the day now outside of all of that I want to mention that this looks very very well produced it, just looking at it as an action film it looks very very well done I can very very quickly spot when something looks cheap or like when something was when they were trying to skirt around their budget on something or when visual effects looks you know not real here everything looked very very real at yeah, least it, yeah. with, you, with regards to just you know not being CGI mm -hmm. you know what I mean everything looked yeah. like it, it was it was shot practically and you have some things that are kind of fantastic like people walking away from explosions and stuff. <laughs> yeah the water <laughs> yeah but it still like looks very 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 well produced there was one really cool shot in here that we, we have actually have it on a freeze frame right now where there's an explosion and you see the guy's face like moving he's got a cigarette in his in his mouth that actually looked really 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 well produced yeah. that shot I'm like okay so they they really spent money on this movie yeah, yeah. you guys let us know in the comments if you've seen it how you felt about it if you think it's a, a worthwhile watch please check out Amanda Ward on the social media subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check out our other reactions reviews short films and video game related videos I'm Jabby Koei this is Amanda Ward peace out